Hey tea heads, this is Don from Mayleaf. In this video, finding Mayleaf porcelain. In this video, we are hunting for some porcelain teaware. This is gonna go under the teawares and the tea trips playlist. If at any point in time you enjoy this video, then give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel yet, then go click that button. We are in Dehua, the capital city of porcelain in China, and we are on the hunt to find some Mayleaf porcelain teaware. I've just visited one factory. This gentleman here is uh, showing me around and we're trying to work out which porcelain to buy and the designs and everything. You know how anal and how pernickety I am about porcelain and about teaware. Take a little look around. Choice as far as the eye can see. We'll have a little browse here. You can see the Gaiwan shapes, all the different shapes of the cups. I know all you tea heads out there, especially you teaware collectors, are all drooling right now because it is like a candy store for anybody who loves their teaware here. Dehua is famous especially for the Bai porcelain, the white porcelain. Jingdezhen is very well known as well, but Jingdezhen is more where the artists are and they're, they're uh, doing lots of paintings. And in fact, a lot of the Jingdezhen porcelain actually comes from Dehua, which is then sent to Jingdezhen for finishing for painting. And also a lot of Dehua companies will create a little outpost in Jingdezhen just to put up the price for Jingdezhen because of the name Jingdezhen. But Dehua is the capital city of porcelain in China. Come on, let's take a little look around. You can see some of the, some of the incredible work that's happening here. Some finished porcelain here. You can see the white porcelain, Gaiwan lids there, but you've got other Gaiwans there. And the key with porcelain, beautiful cups there. The key thing about porcelain, um, just like everything else, is you know there's varying qualities. And the quality depends on the thickness. So this is a relatively cheap porcelain, this one. So this is a, a, a thicker one. Or you can get the really, really thin ones that really show the light, the light uh, flows through it very easily and that's considered to be higher quality. Also, the, how, how uh, high the temperature is of the firing makes a big difference as well in terms of the quality and the sound. I'm no porcelain expert, I know there are a lot of people out there watching that love their porcelain, do their own pottery, so I defer to your knowledge on this, but take a look around, I just want to give you a feel of what it's like to hunt for porcelain in Dehua. I'm paranoid watching Celine walk around just in case she doesn't bump into anything. Look at this. Incredible. All the different types of sources. You've got this, which is obviously for the filter. So you put the, for the to filter your tea into the Gongdao Bay. All the lids ready here. artists at work. And you can see some hand painting here, the hand painted little uh, fish and lotus flowers. Gorgeous stuff. So we're here for the day and we're going to be exploring. This is one factory. We're going to go visit various factories. I have in my head what I'm looking to get made for us. So we're going to make get stuff specially commissioned for Mayleaf. So hopefully we're going to find the right porcelain at the right price. If I find anything else interesting, we'll get back to you. Otherwise, you're gonna to have to keep your eyes out for the Mayleaf porcelain. See you later.